Did you know that this little lighthouse is right here in our own backyard in Philadelphia? It's called Turtle Rock Lighthouse, and it's home to the Sedgley Club, one of the first women's boating clubs in the country. In a lens for the lighthouse, the main character in the story is trying to get the lens to the lighthouse before dark. If you look way up at the top, that's where the lens to Turtle Rock lives. You wanna take a peek inside? is a really tight squeeze because this is a very small lighthouse. Most lighthouses are really big and you can climb all the way to the top. Do you know why lighthouses and their lenses are so important? Lighthouses like these have a really interesting way of communicating with boats. Let's learn a little bit more about how they do it. I know just the person. Lighthouses are really important to people like me. I'm a boat captain. Without lighthouses, I might crash. Each lighthouse has its own flash, color, and pattern. It lets us know where there is safe water and where danger may lurk. In the olden days, captains didn't have computers and cell phones to let them know where they were, so they relied on these colors, flashes, and patterns to tell them where safe water was. In the daytime, they'd know what the next lighthouse on their journey would look like. And if they didn't see it and the pattern looked different, uh-oh, turn around or change course. The Cape May Lighthouse, the one that inspired a lens for the lighthouse, is a tall beige tower with a red lantern all the way up at the top. At nighttime, when you can't see the pattern on the side of the lighthouse, we use the lens and the light that comes from it to let us know exactly where we are. Every lighthouse is different. Some lighthouses have a steady light and others have a blinking, flashing light like this. Boop, boop, boop. Some lighthouses, like the Cape May Lighthouse, have a slower flash pattern. It's like this. Boop, boop. Boop. You want to try the Cape May flash with me? Let's do it. Boop, boop, boop. You know, it's almost like these lighthouses have a language all their own. I think that's pretty cool, don't you? That is really cool. So the lens guides the light over the water so that boats and captains, like our friend Captain Aileen, stay safe at night. When the Turtle Rock Lighthouse was built more than a hundred years ago, its light was steady, meaning it stayed on the whole time, like this. Boop. It helped big boats navigate around the big bend in the Schuylkill right here, and it lit the nearby dam. Big boats don't come down the Schuylkill River anymore, but the women of the Sedgley Club still turn the Turtle Rock Lighthouse on from time to time for special occasions. If you're ever driving down along the river on the expressway or on Kelly Drive, look out your window. You may see the Turtle Rock Lighthouse.